when I went and signed with the Yankees, there were only six Red Sox left in from the 2004 team. You had Euclid, you had Veritech, you had Wakefield, Poppy, Manny, and Schilling. That's it. Yeah. So it was a very tough decision because I knew I was the fan favorite. And at the end of the day, and back in those days, your team could only negotiate with you for six weeks after the season. There was not one discussion with the Red Sox. Um, and when it came time, I was like, I need to go and sign because if the Red Sox are the only team out there, I am going to lose out on a bunch of money. So I called Detroit. It just lost 120 games. I knew they had some good players. Lakeland's right down the street from me. I'd like to come play for you. And they're like, we would love to, but we have a young kid named Curtis Granderson that we are going to give a chance to this year. <laughs> I thought the Dodgers were going to work out, um, but they just signed for a call. So now it's down to Boston and New York. Never did I think I would go to New York, um, especially never did I think Boston would let me become a free agent. So I started talking to Cashman and I told him what I wanted, make it worth my while. Boston hasn't offered me anything. I think they were going to offer me four year 40. Um, they said they were going to offer that to me a year ago. I bought a house, <laughs> everything. They haven't been very truthful to me. I know they're busy. I know it's a business and I know they really want to get me for one year for maybe five, ten million dollars. Jacoby Osbury's coming. So I started right, talking to right. the Yankees, got the four year 52 and you know, it was a very tough decision, but I've been in the game, played with Kansas City, played with Oakland, played with Boston. You know, this was my, I was going into my 12th year in the big leagues or so. I get it. Um, and what we veteran players really want is just straight up honesty. You know, when I was with Detroit, I was told, you know, thank you for your service, but you're not coming back. At least I knew I could start shopping around. And that right. that's the greatest uh, part that I think GM and players can get along. Hey, let's be honest. We know it's a business. Let's figure it out. 